Good morning. I thought I'd give you an update on our English muffins. Look at that. The dough went absolutely crazy bananas last night. It is like puffing. Can you see the top? It's like poofing the my uh, lid of my bowl. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I've never made English muffins before, but it has been on my to-do list for years, like years and years. All right, so let's uh, open up the silicone lid. Oh, yeah. Smells like super yeasty and delicious. It smells awesome. I can hear it like it's actually like doing sounds. Um, so what we're going to do is turn this out onto my pastry mat and we're going to divide it up into our little sections and get them ready for cooking. I haven't even had my coffee yet. This is how excited I was to get into that dough. Okay, I've had a sip, so we're good. So grab your uh, favorite spatula, and you're just going to gently start pulling down the sides, because we're going to be turning it out onto our pastry mat. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, look at all those bubbles. It's just crazy. I can't even... I don't know. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but that just seems like a lot more than I imagined, I guess. This is the beauty of making it the night before, though, because the patience is forced on you. You have to wait. So I'm going to grab a, um, a um, nylon knife. The nylon knife, if you would like to teach your little people how to start chopping in the kitchen, this is excellent because it's not sharp, but it's sharp enough to do the job. And it's not sharp enough to cut through my pastry mat. So I'm just going to start by dividing it in half. It's very sticky. Like more sticky than any dough I've ever worked with. I'm actually going to get out my griddle because we're going to put just put them right onto the griddle where we want them to go. Back up so you can see that. Okay. So we're just going to go in half and half and half. contact you can have with this, the less like playing with it, the more bubbles it's going to uh, maintain. So do your best just to eyeball the halves. They were not, they're not going to have to be perfect. I mean, it's homemade, right? That's what homemade is. Imperfect. wanted to get really technical you could totally weigh them out I'm sure they're all even but we're not fancy <clears throat> Okay, how many do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. So now we're just going to kind of form them into a circle-ish. <laughs> Ish. <clears throat> I want them to be English muffin-ish. We're just going to place them on our griddle. I'll 
obviously some are very small compared to the others, but it's okay. We're not going to be worried about that. In fact, Boston's probably going to be like, ooh, I want the little one, because that's how kids are. They like the little tiny things most of the time. Unless it's cake. Cake, then it's always, I want the big one. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to fit these. Oh, we might have to do two batches. Definitely going to have to do two batches. I think. Unless I bring them really close to you. I just don't know how much they're going to poof up once they start cooking, right? This one's a really big one. Well, you know what? I'm not going to have the space to do all 16, so I might as well just do two batches. So we're going to let those rest again. I'm just going to get these ones set up too. Actually, why don't we do, I'm gonna grab my big double burner uh, grill, and we'll do another set on there. So these ones will have lines on them. These will kill two burns with one stone, right? Try both pans out, see which one we like the best. That one's a really big one. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I could take some of this really big one. Combine it with this really small one without popping too many of those bubbles. Small one. Okay, so what, what's going to happen next? I'm just going to let it rest for about 15 minutes. Pretty much I'm going to go enjoy my coffee. And uh, when I come back, we'll start, we'll put them on the stove to start cooking. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, so I just turned my stove onto a medium-high heat, and I've also started to preheat my oven to 325 degrees. So we're basically going to brown these on both sides, and then we're going to transfer them into the oven. Now, these uh, two pans can totally go into the oven, the griddle and the grill, but um, my oven is not big enough to have both of them going at the same time. So, I'm going to get out my half sheet pan, which is big enough that it will hold all 16 of those. And it's non-stick, so I don't have to worry about like lighting it with anything. So, I guess now we wait. Alright, so once in a while, just take your little spatula here. Just lift it up. You're waiting for it to brown. Might take a bit to get going. Oh, those ones are starting. As soon as they are brown, we'll flip it. All right, so we're going to try flipping. These ones, I think, are... Well, they're still not that brown, though. I'm trying to be patient. These ones are brown, so we're going to flip it. Yeah. Oops, you can't even see that. That guy's brown. That means this burner right here is probably pretty hot. 
Okay. This is so neat. I hope they turn out really good. So I bet you all oh, those guys aren't even ready to be flipped yet. How about this guy? No. Okay, so we just gotta be patient. I'm gonna turn this burner down some. Drop them. All right, let's flip some more. I'm so excited. So these can store you guys in the freezer. Like we're making 16 right now, but you can totally, once they're cool, throw them in your freezer bags and they're gonna be good for a long time. But I'm going to say, I'm going to guess that there is going to be nothing like them fresh this morning when we have them with some eggs. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, so now we're just waiting to toast the other ones and then we'll pop it in the oven. Okay, friends, so I'm going to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on my baking sheet and we're going to bake them for 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, then we're going to let them cool and then we will enjoy and I will be sure to share pictures. All right, bye for now.